Okay. 2010-2011. Gaijin Gaming Incorporated. Gaijin again. Uh, Trophy Studios. Bit dot trip runner. Press any button. Click. Down, up, down, up. Okay, so. Do, do, do credits, leaderboard options. Let's see what options we have. Okay. I don't have a controller. Hmm. Want that. Okay, the font here is really hard to. Hard to understand here. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is the second game that I'm gonna do. Main dot menu for the uh, humble bundle. I have played like a minute of the first level, maybe, and just to see if it was playable, I guess. And it is uh, basically a uh, Eight-bit themed um, side scroll jumpy game. You press space to jump or num five and jump over stuff and you get gold. Um, it's also a uh, music. If you listen to, you're jumping kind of in in a rhythm. So, um, yeah, I, I have, what, like, 20 games or something, and, and anyways, the plan is to just go through, go through all of them, and, and play them, and say what I think. I got some rainbows going on, and I think I beat the level. The 11 and 11 gold bars, challenge complete, 11 out of 11, exclamation mark, right in between the 11... I don't know what that said. Retro challenge, collect gold. Okay, so we are getting extra retro here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's very uh, rhythmic. Oops. Like, you almost think it's background music, but... Oh, dang it. Only got 45. Final score, high score, right on that. Okay. Um. Um. Ooh, that looked cool. I don't even know what that is. H I J. That's a K. Where's another cool-looking letter? I don't think we're gonna get any better than. Okay, R looks kind of neat. There we go. Coolio. So I'm hoping this is going to be... Have a bit more um, going on than just... Just the one button, you know, side scroll jumper, but... Because it's supposed to be a full... You know, five, ten dollar game. Um... So I'm hoping there's there's a bit more going on here than just just running around jumping. But oops, that's what happens when you die. You get thrown back here to, to try again. So no real no real loss. They they get you um, back into the game pretty quick, which is good. I don't know what the plus thing does. Maybe it like multiplies your score or something. Like, it looks like something that would heal you, but you... Oh, dang it. You don't have any life. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be more, uh, quiet in this. Just cause it's a musical kind of game, so I don't wanna... 
I don't want to take away from that, I guess, by me talking. Dang it, I... What am I doing? Ugh, just, just stupid jumps here. So I'm probably not going to end up playing... Wow. This for as long as I did a uh, hammer fight, because hammer fight had a bit more of a story and this this is more like an arcade game from what it looks like. But I'm I'm gonna play either until I'm confident I know what the game's looking like, or until something interesting happens. Dang it! Ugh. Okay. Wow, first jump. There we go. Extra. Extra. Yay! Woo! Rainbows! Challenge complete. 25 out of 25. Bonus get is what that says. Took me a couple times to... Figure that out. Retro challenge. If you notice, um, they put the gold in particular patterns. Like it was starting out with a basic four beat. You know, like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I don't really care. Okay, so one dash three Gesturm Schmeck. Ooh, I can slide now. Okay, so we're Oh dang it. Okay, let's slide. They don't like to let me do the other buttons until I unlock them though. But I can hold slide and still jump, so it's good to know. Screw running. This is just a giant slip and slide now. This music is really good though. Um, another game I have from a humble bundle is VVVVVV. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of that, but that's a very popular game, um, indie game, with some of the best music you can hear. Oh, I like the flat rainbows. Yeah, and that that game um is just the the music makes the game. It totally does. It's a um that's a game that I'm looking forward to playing. I've actually invested a lot of time into that. Oh dang it Man, those are hard. Okay, they're gonna make me do that every single level. That's a little unnecessary. Hyper. I think the name of this was like Crater or something. UFO. Hmm. So you think we can hit those UFOs? Next time I see one, I'm jumping into it to see what happens. Cause either they're they're dodgeable or they're they're points. Okay, so you dodge them. Now we know. Yeah, 
I don't know if I should... I mean, just seeing me sit here and play this quietly is probably... Um, kind of worthless, but the music... You know, it's a musical game, so it's kind of hard to... To talk to... Because I'm taking away from the music. And... It's an arcade game, so... I mean, you're... There's not all that much to talk about. I mean, there's... Purple crystals, and... Getting the gold, obviously, and the the position of the gold, and all of that. Wow, that was weird. I don't know if that was just lag, or if I died, or what. One thing that's unfortunate is these levels are bound to be repetitive because, because it's music-based. See, if you want to have a similar part in the song, um, you need to have, you need to have a similar part in the map. See, like, those stairs we've went up three times, and then there's always this after it. So, ooh, giant flying gold thing. Do do do. UFO, that thing, jump, jump. No! Aw, oh, dang it, I missed the plus. Okay, level's almost over. Last piece of gold. I didn't get a rainbow this time, though. Was it because I missed the... Um, one stuff? Yeah, I got fireworks. I don't know if there's always fireworks. 